As I grow old, I feel that I'm becoming better at solving puzzles, more efficient, faster, but a lot worse at figuring out how hard I'm going to be based on the image on the box. If you watched my previous video, you know that I solved a puzzle based on the Eclipse by Alma Thomas while I was looking for a simple puzzle and that one turned out to be pretty hard. So after that challenge, I thought, well, I definitely now need something easier simpler, just a break, change of pace, and this one seemed perfect. Uh, I love fantasy, dragons, uh, confident women with big weapons, was not to love, and I thought it really, once it's done, will match the fantasy theme that is very common in my game room. Little did I know, however, that this turned out to be really hard, much tougher than the Alma Thomas puzzle. It's only a thousand pieces, only at least because that's, that's, that's my standard thing. So it wasn't the size that stopped me, but simply, well, uh, the, the structure of the puzzle. This turned out to be one of the hardest puzzles that I solved in a very long time. From time to time I was like, I'll just give up, but then I also thought, no, 1000 piece puzzle is going to defeat me, and this one did not. It is part of a series by Ann Stokes, uh, maybe one day I'll find the strength to also solve the other ones. I think they would make a nice set here in my game room, but for now, this is the one that I solved, and there it is. There it is, uh, store, ready for storage. Hardened by Mod Pod, just so that I can place it vertical because it's pretty shiny, it's pretty glossy. Even before the Mod Pod, I would not have been able to film this one and show you really the image because there was so much glare with the puzzle horizontal on the table. So I Mod Pod this, so I can put it vertical and I can show it to you. What a beautiful puzzle! I'm pretty happy with the image. But not to the point that it's such a masterpiece, like in the Alma Thomas, I'm like, well, it's all worth the pain. I'm not 100% sure, because this turned out to be such a challenge. Once I saw the edge, and this part here, that was already okay, then I saw the wing, and you know, they're aligned, so that helps a little bit. But then some piece of the wing, well, they go there, so there's that ambiguity. I saw their face, and then I was stuck, also this stuck. First, I, from there, I proceeded to connect the pieces on the head of the dragon, but somehow that was incredibly hard. I don't know why I just could not connect, connect them easily. But really what was the killer is this entire area here. Basically, pretty much starting from the hand, the entire body here of the paladin, and the body of the dragon all the way here. It's about a third of the puzzle, maybe a fourth, of still over 200 pieces, 300 pieces or so. And although it looks pretty distinctive now, here's the armor, that's the carapace, that's the leg. It was not. There were only a few areas that were distinctive, this area here, and some of the and some of the parts of the armor. Other than that, when the pieces were in the box, they were just one big blob of pieces that were just brown with patches of white, yellow, and red in no discernible pattern. And that was the tough thing. If you watch my video about the Alma Thomas painting, then you know that at least there, there was a structure, there were lines that were in the specific direction that can give me some information. Here again, these two lines on her armor should have helped, but somehow they didn't. These lines could have helped, but they kind of look, when they're not assembled, similar to the ridges of the body and the ridges of here, the, the chest, the belly of the dragon. So this entire thing, the, it all, every piece looked the same. And that is what made it so tough. Again, starting from somewhat challenging, fairly challenging, a lot more than I expected, to true, true challenge. I would say that just to do this area took me more than half of the time just to do this area. Um, how many hours was that? I don't know, many, maybe 10 hours just for this part. And usually 10 hours is about what it takes me to solve a, a 1000 piece puzzle. So that tells you probably, and I don't usually keep track of time, but maybe it took me about 20 hours or so to solve the puzzle. 
And again, at the end, I was like, okay, this is a nice fantasy illustration. I think uh, I'm good. I think I'm good. I don't think I'm going to break it and do it again. Nope, I'm going to mod podge it just in case uh, I mis mistakenly break. Because I don't know that I will have the stamina and the strength to solve it again. I'm happy that I have it. But again, when it's a nice illustration, it's not to me to the point. It's not another artistic beauty to justify that much. Uh, pain but then but then we solve puzzles because we like them also while, I, while I'm here chattering I'll give you more details we love the puzzles we like them and it's nice when you look at it uh, but again it's not that it was too hard because I solved it ultimately it's just that I did not expect that it's a period where I was not up for a particularly tough challenge and I got one, and so I had a little less fun solving this one than I expected, than I would have otherwise, but it is still a good puzzle. Definitely recommend it to anybody who loves fantasy, puzzles, and pain. It's an Anstoke puzzle by Clementoni. Nice, but boy, it was hard to get to this point.